Well, guys, I hate to see that there was no sound on the video there, but what I was reporting about, uh, let me just first take you over here. Ukraine is, is saying that Russia has deployed 100 new uh, type of combat aircraft, but as they're saying this at the same time, uh, we are already getting information as well. Let me just find where it's at here real quick here that the Ukrainian military has already has already begun the offensive on the airport region of Donetsk. Uh, Hal Turner is reporting on this. Hal Turner is only saying that it's, uh, uh, he's not mentioning the part about the tanks, but EH, EHA News says, according to local sources, heavy clashes are taking place near the Donetsk airport. Reports say Ukrainian army is attacking the airport from Pinsky with battle tanks. That's the one thing they're showing there. Uh, we don't have any video footage as of yet. That's why we don't know for sure. We do know, as we've been reporting, the Ukrainian government has said that this was going to happen. Uh, let's see, the OSCE SMM report, December 13th, four tanks, T-72 stationary at the train station in Bakhmut, uh, 67 kilometers north of Donetsk. So the OSCE is reporting that there are tanks up in that area. At least we're seeing that part come out. Uh, and at the same token, though, like I said, Hal Turner is saying that the attack has begun in earnest on Donetsk region there. Now, what caught my attention was Michael D. had uh, spoke about that Russia deployed in Crimea 100 new type of combat aircraft, uh, according to Ukraine's intelligence report there. Uh, it's not like it's brand new types of aircraft. It's just Su-27 and Su-30. In other words, they've added 100 new uh, military planes to the airfields in Crimea. They're also saying in this article here that Russia has got five submarines with cruise missiles on board in the Black Sea there near Crimea and Ukrainian coast there. Uh, it seems to me that Russia is not taking a chance that Ukraine is being backed by NATO to overthrow the Donetsk region or possibly that they might go after Crimea at this time. I don't really think they're going to go after Crimea as of yet. I think what Ukraine wants to see and the NATO wants to see is if they can get away with toppling the Donetsk and Repu uh, Luhansk region uh, there in eastern Ukraine to see if they can get away with this. Uh, we'll just have to wait to see how it goes, guys. I apologize about the sound. I think the batteries on my camera, I saw one getting weak, but they all seem to be working, though. Uh, so I'm not really sure why we did not have sound. Uh, but at any rate, this is what's going on. I just wanted to update you guys on this. I'm sorry about the drifting as well. And uh, also, too, we get a chance to check out that video on the two witnesses. Ah, some people jumped to the gun a little bit. Uh, they were saying, you know, in there, oh, gosh, Steve, uh, you know, the two witnesses are the two olive trees, and you didn't talk about that, and uh, oh, the two witnesses are, you know, the people all filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, I believe the Holy people filled with the Holy Spirit are witnesses, but it, didn't say, it doesn't say anything about the two witnesses. Uh, and I did speak about the olive tree, olive branches, etc. Yes, I did, because they are your two witnesses. At any rate, though, the point was, it is a new video, and it's an insight I have never saw before, even though it's in the Hebrew of Matthew, putting that, as Yeshua said, if you can receive it. Now, notice what he says. If you can receive it, Yeshua knew there's going to be a lot of people that would not believe that John is the Elijah that will come in the future. Future to come is what it says in Hebrew. And another person made a comment. It's kind of cute. I, I, I love people. I realize they don't. They don't. They don't realize w what's happening here because uh, had they listened to the video, they wouldn't say some of the comments. Uh, you know. So, but the sister, she is so kind. She says, "Brother," she says, uh, "You didn't. You. You know. I don't care what it says in Hebrew. What matters is what's in Greek." Well, in the video, that's what I show you. In Greek, it also put John as the spirit of Elijah coming in the future what oh my gosh it's amazing the translators missed it friends but keep in mind as yeshua says if you can receive it it's pretty obvious many people just can't receive the fact that the two witnesses and here it is the two witnesses jesus untold story who they are Many people just can't receive it. And yeah, I do go into Moses too. Some people ask, they said that too. You know, Steve, you didn't go and you just talked about one witness, not the second one. 
I always remember Jesus said, I don't accuse you. There is one that accuses you, even Moses. Oh, wow, what do you know? Now he's got both of them named. Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. I hope this is all a blessing to you guys. Anyway, can't wait to talk to you guys later. Maybe this evening, maybe not. Maybe tomorrow we'll get into it on Shabbat there. But this was kind of our Shabbat message released a little early for you guys today. Erev Tov. <laughs>